Hello and welcome back, Squirrel Nation. Today we are diving in. Um, so today is going to be kind of a, a different type of play. What I am going to do is I am going to do an OP test on Six Warrior Four Beast. And what I mean by an OP test is I am going to force it, no matter if I'm win streaking, lose streaking, whatever. I'm just going to force it, and we're going to see how it goes. So. Um, I think this is probably the current strongest build and the reason I call this an OP test is at a high rank. Um, so when you're like king threes and queens and that's your lobbies, if you're able to force a build, it's OP. Like you should not, in, in those type of lobbies, you should not be able to force a build and consistently uh, do well with it. Because other people are going to be contesting it, right? Um, other people will be knowing how to counter you and those type of things. So um, that's why I consider this to be an OP test. So anyways, we are just going to force the build and we are going to see how it goes. Let's, let's see if I am correct and this is an OP build or if I'm wrong and people will be able to counter it even though I'm just pushing through. So anyways, we'll look at the lobby quick just to see. So no queens in this one, but uh, a good amount of king threes. Um, and anyway, so the main thing for now is we are picking up warriors. We do start with two tuskers, which is nice. Um, and do I want to throw on items yet? No, I'm going to hold off on throwing on items. And we'll grab the uh, wisp seer just for the druid in case we, you know, grab something. Unlikely this early, but still. So our beasts are going to be werewolf, tusker, um, lone druid and the venom uh poisonous worm and substitution is lord of sand so that i'm keeping in my mind also is we are looking for those do, do, do. there we go combine that that will go on our berserker later on so that's good um yep there we go more warrior warrior good 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 um what's the strongest thing i can put in right now probably grab that um, I think I'm also going to grab the pair of hunters and I'm actually going to put that in or should I, uh, I don't know. I think maybe three warriors. I don't really have anything that strong right now. Th this is not that strong of a synergy, but for right now, that's probably what I got going. So we'll go with that. Um, the mana I could put on my Skybreaker or I can put it on my Skull. I think I'm going to put on my Skull Hunter. Skull Hunter is pretty nice early game and also he won't be in my end game build so I can stack items onto him now and then I can get them back later. So that I think will be my plan. And yeah, anyways. So let's see. Are we being contested or not? So, so far it looks like there's not tons of people going towards warriors, so I mean that's that's also something to keep in mind. So let's do this. Stack it all. There we go. Okay. And um, in this case, I think I'm going to level and then put in another. And the reason why is for six warriors, a lot of the stuff I want is higher cost. Um, so we're talking about you right three and four costs So me leveling quickly so I can get a high chance to get my three cost will definitely help me out um, So that's what's in the back of my mind. I could hang around Level five for a while to try to get my tusker and try to get my uh, stone spirit and my war chief to Two star, but it's not a mandatory thing And okay, so we still lose So it looks like we might lose streak and we will we will find out soon so that yep and let's see okay i think we will um how weak are other people so that person has three things but he is higher level so yeah i am gonna lose streak okay so we're testing six warrior with a lose streak Theoretically, I don't actually think that that's that good. Um, and actually, let me manage my economy here real quick. So we're going to go to 10. We're just holding on to our warriors. Um, anything that's not key, uh, it's not vital to our team comp, I'm going to sell to just um, give up for economy. So in general, I don't think six warrior is that great 
for lose streaking. So if it does well from a lose streak, then that's another really big proof that it's a very strong composition. Um, the reason that it's rough for a lose streak is generally lose streaking teams have to reroll heavily around round uh, when they get to level seven because they need to be able to stabilize. And if you think about level seven, what you're mainly going to get is two cost and three cost units, and you don't really have a good chance to get your four costs. And if you look at the four warrior composition, there's two key units that are four cost, Berserker and your Lone Druid. So that's why um, it's not as optimal. I will say one thing about six warriors is you can run the low, low cost warriors. Like I can run the Stone Spirit, the Tusk, or the War Chief. Um, but those are pieces that you're generally going to switch out later for better um, units like Doom. And sorry, I forgot to mention Doom also in Six Warrior. But, and Pirate Captain, sorry, <laughs> I, I forgot to say four. So anyways, there's four epics in a Six Warrior comp, ideally. Um, so that's why rerolling at level seven heavily is not a good thing. Um, but I think, and that's why if it works, I think that is showing us something. So here's a harder choice. Um, the Lord of Sand is something we want. However, we are at 20 gold, so I do want an economy. Um, two more rounds we lose, then we're going to start winning. And the fact that we did hit two two stars probably means we'll do okay. Um, if I put my team in now, there are teams I would beat for sure. Um, so we would be middling, and that's the least thing I want to do. Somebody else is almost empty fording, but they're leaving their priest on the board. So I'm not sure why. Yeah, so they, I mean, that, okay, that's the risk. If you, if you decide to empty fort and only put your priest in, so you're taking a little bit less damage, you're really running the risk of what just happened to this guy. So, uh, you got to be careful. If somebody's empty fording, do not just throw one priest on the board because he just lost his loss lose streak and now he's low health low economy and i mean he's definitely not a happy camper so um be careful cautionary tale there we go hit that and there we go swordsman is a big damage source by the way in um in six warrior and the other reason Swordman's amazing is one, he introduces AoE damage, and two, he's immune to magic damage when his alt is going. Um, I don't know why it doesn't say it in here, but if you look at the hero encyclopedia, it shows, I don't know if it shows it in this one, but if you look at the main one in the game, it shows um, on his ultimate. He, okay, I can't. Oh, there we go. Does it show in here? No, it doesn't show on here either. Anyways, he becomes immune to magic damage, or maybe it only happens at two star. Actually, I never really paid attention to it that at one star or two star. But anyways, he becomes immune to magic damage, so that helps a lot. So that person's running a uh, warrior with hunters. So we're going to have a couple hunters in the game. Um, we're having a knight, probably a glacier knight. And looks like probably a druid. So I would say we're probably going to have two druids, two marksmen, and a knight player. Okay, there we go, and now it's Golem, so let's put our team in. There we go, there we go. Um, we'll get that in, and... Last one, eh, not the beast, we'll put in another warrior. And this position will take the most aggro with the Stone Spirit, and then I believe that position ends up taking quite a bit of aggro from the other one, so... We have our two stars to take the main aggro, so that's good. Um, the egg we will hold. If I can hit a lone druid, that would be a great target for my egg because I can get a two star right away. So that will be good. And yep, engagement works fine. We're doing good here. Um, now, oh, somebody, ah, he hit a lone druid. Lucky. Oh, well, it's okay. So one, we're probably, lone druid's going to be the thing that's most contested for us. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind grab those like i said we can try to take things to um to three star and here i haven't hit my i would like to get my um get over 30 gold so i can keep econing and i'm kind of trying to think about how i could sell my lord of sand but i really don't want to the war chief i could sell um because i already 
That is a sixth warrior though for me. So that kind of I don't want to sell. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just take the econ hit because yeah, I think I just take it. So we are going to win. This is against the other last place. Or actually, no, maybe we're going to lose, which is perfect. If we're barely losing, that's great still. Like, I'm still happy to lose. I just, the reason I'm putting stuff on the board is I can't afford to keep heavily losing. Like, I can't keep empty fording or I'm going to lose too much health. But, like, losing like this is fine, right? Um, what, I lost six health, basically? So that's not too bad. And yeah, we're, we're, we're going to just take the one gold hit. And at this point, I'm just econing still. Um, I'm going to go to 50, then I'm going to level to 7, and then I'm going to reroll a bit to try to fill in my comp. Um, let's see what are we contested on. So Lord of Sand is contested. I'm looking for Poisonous Worm. Poisonous Worm is not contested, so I should be able to hit it. I also have mana items to hit the Poison Worm. By the way, putting items, I don't want to win still. So I don't want to put items on. So we're just going to sit on our items. So that is why that's happening. Um... But yeah, so I'm checking Poison Worm and Lone Druid. So none of those are contested except the Lone So the Lone Druid and the uh, Lord of Sand are both contested by one other team. Lord Lone Druid we know is going to be contested by multiple teams though because there's other people going Druids and stuff like that. So and un it looks like we're going to win, unfortunately. Oh, may uh, it's possible to lose. Get one more alt off. Get one more alt. Yeah, no. Oh man, that was so close. Oh well. So there's our streak. Um, once your streak is gone, then you can start focusing on trying to win. So there's that. I can get in a sixth warrior, which is probably the best um, synergy for me right now. So let's go like this. Okay. Or we can center more. This formation um, bias to the right side is to catch teams that are also biased to the right side. So my swordsman will hit three different heroes and then my red axe chief will alt to take aggro away from the swordsman so he stays alive longer. That's that's why I set them next to each other like that. And here I can start to item up. Um, I'll probably put my mana on my Lord of Sand and my um, Venom Worm. Uh, poisonous Worm. Ugh. I always want to call it Venom Mancer, but anyways. So Venom Worm here. It looks like we're going to lose, but not heavily would be my guess. But who knows? I guessed wrong last round. So, yep, there we go. Okay. So we got those. We do have our four beasts also, by the way. So that's something to keep in mind. Beautiful. Beautiful. Venom Answer, I'm tempted. I am tempted to grab. Mm. Also here, I could throw in my three beasts or my four beast, and I think I might because of the fact that, just because of what our comp is looking at, I think like four beasts is the way to go and it lets me get some items in use. Um, so I think that is probably a little bit better than the six warriors with multiple one stars and no items. Um, these items are all getting saved for my berserker. So if I put them on anything, it would have to be something that I'm positive I'm going to sell. And the way that my comp is working, there's nothing that I'm positive I'm going to sell. So I don't really want to put the item out there. And again, it looks like we're probably barely... Eh, actually, this one, it looks like we're going to win. Okay, and that's first place. So we're already starting to do well there. Um, I did opt not to get Vanamancer because he's not in my endgame build. And uh, yeah, my, he, my comp just doesn't hold it right now. So there is that. Um, this is Wolf Pack, which with our current comp should not be a problem at all. Knock on wood. I have jinxed myself before. So eh, we'll go like this. Um, eh, maybe we'll switch those two. So there we go. This should end up in a nice pattern. Yep, that's good. Good engagement. Perfect. My poison worm is safe. I'm going to just spawn away. And yeah, so we are good. And my two star warriors take the main aggro off the bat. So that's good. Okay. Um, after this, we will put gold into leveling up. Um, and we are only on a one win streak, I believe. Yeah, so we only have one win. So I don't need to super focus. There we go. Make those masks. Life crystal, nice. Um, there we go, ring. Um, this is actually, that's not bad um, because because the axe can be really nice um, in these. 
situations. And wait a second, I'll expand on that more. Um, I'm going to stay econed because we've been doing pretty well. And yeah, so I'm not feeling too much pressure to rush it. And anyways, I am going to combine that item was the moral of the story. Um, I was saying that Axe of Fury is a really great item, especially with uh, Six Warrior Beast, because I have so many melee units that I can put that on. Uh, Lord of Sand, I could put it on Pirate Captain. I can put it on Doom. So anyways, there's there's a lot of one ra attack range or melee um, units that have impactful ultimates. And that's ideally what you would want to get your um, Axe of Fury onto. So that that's why it fits. And nice, we are winning. Good, 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 good. Okay, so... Hopefully we can hit our Berserker, hit our Lone Druid, and then we are sitting pretty. And... There we go, so now we level. Um, seven. And we are going to put in our Swordsman. And let's actually reroll a bit here. Okay, so there's a pair. There's a pair, one more reroll. Do we hit? We do hit, beautiful. So now we get that, get that in there, boom. Okay, and then we can sell our Red Axe Chief. If we're winning, we'll sell one. If we're losing, we'll sell both. And Red Axe Chief's probably not gonna be used. I already have the six warriors without it. And we're about, we're gonna start focusing on going to level eight now that we got another two star warrior. Um, so yeah, I don't need to I don't need to sit on the Red Axe Chief. The reason I'm sitting on Tusker is because he could be my three star. Oh, and we, unfortunately we heavily lose. Interesting. I wasn't paying enough attention during the fight. Um, what is that? Four Warrior, three. I have to look at their upgrades. I'm guessing, yeah, Dwarf Sniper, two, three. Wow, interesting. I'm pretty surprised they beat me actually. Oh, nice, beautiful, Berserker, cool. So that's a power spike for us. Uh, for now, I am gonna take out the um, the, 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 oh my gosh, game, come on, there we go, let's get our items on, boom, 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 and boom, okay, so is this what I want, I don't know, I'm thinking for me, oh my gosh, get over Tusker, there we go, formation, I still want to keep my six, um, we do want to rush to eight so I can get in my, uh, my six warrior, but I still think the four beast is better than the six warrior at this point, but yeah, I don't know, that, that, that's kind of here, back and forth, and the main reason is because I do have the mana items on the Worm and on the Lord of Sand. So that's my main justification for it. And like, see, on these teams where there's magic damage, it wouldn't really be... The Six War wouldn't help me as much anyways. But that could be a misplay, I don't know. And cool. So we're in a pretty reasonable spot. Our health is a little lower than I'd, I'd like but we will get to eight and have a chance to reroll for stuff. Let's see what's contested. Like, are we going to be able to hit our pirate? Are we going to be able to hit doom, lone druid? Those type of things is what I'm looking at. So there's that. Okay, so that's good. Um, I am going to be greedy. And what I mean by greedy is I'm going to stay above 50 still for this last human round. Then we have a beast round. Then I can go to eight and then I can reroll heavily to try to get stuff. Um, so that is my plan. And this will be going on to my pirate captain, most likely, or my doom. So my like main tanks um, is where I want that item going. And yeah, so hopefully we can do well here and not lose too much health or win. Yep, that works. And good. And now we're fighting that person from their point of view. How are we doing? They're still beating us. Yes. Okay, so they just consistently are beating us. I think it's because... Yeah, the Dwarf Sniper is just wrecking. So that's fine. When I when I get the Six Warrior, that will help a lot against that person. So that's fine. And... Okay, there we go. So now we put it into level. Um, like I said, we are going to get... This is minion round, and then I leveled 8, and then we reroll, and we try to get our 4 cost units. Berserker... I have an egg for him. Pirate Captain, we have an egg for him. Lone Druid, we have an egg for him if we hit. Um, that is what we are going for. If I get a Lone Druid at this point, I would sell my Poisonous Worm since I already have a two-star two star Lord of Sand. Um, when you're running a composition, always keep in mind substitutions. So in this case, I'm just targeting four Beast and I do have the substitutions, um, but they're still the optimal. So every substitution has the optimal play and they have the substitution. So just keep that in mind. 
Oh, this is beautiful. This will help our Berserker stay alive. Good. Um, this, who is it on? Pirate Captain, good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so anyways, level. Let's grab that in case we hit a lone druid. No, nope. Beautiful. Uh, nope. And nope, we'll stay there for now because I don't have tons of time. So here we go, and then put in our next, which will be our pirate captain. Combine that onto him. And also let's put that there. Good. Okay, so we are looking pretty solid. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, I would like to hit my swordsman so I can get that in. Um, but anyways, we're at our full comp. Uh, here's one of the warriors. We're doing good against him. We're doing good against that, but it's the same player, I believe. Yes, it is. But anyways, there we go. Um, who is this on? Poison Worm? Yep, that's fine. We'll take that too. So actually, we could make an Orb of Refresh if we sell our Poison Worm or if we sell our... Um... Wait a second. Let me roll before I talk too much. I'm going to roll down a bit just to try to hit stuff. I could have grabbed... Bam, there we go. Okay. So combine that. Combine that. Um... I am going to sell this. We are going to level that. And let's go like this. And orb of refresh. Bam. Okay, beautiful. So on our Lord of Sand, that's good. Because he's going to double stun, right? So he'll go through, stun once, and then come back and stun. And see, he built a ton of mana from, from his initial alt. So he actually just does back-to-back -back alts. Um, with orb of refresh, keep in mind that you it resets the cooldown, but you still have to build the mana back up, right? So if you put it on heroes who have a single um, single target ultimate, they still are going to need to hit multiple times to build up the ultimate. So a good example is uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, Siren. So Siren, if you put it on there, it's not like she just insta-casts back to back. There, There's a delay between it. So anyways, we're rolling. Um, formation. I think we switch him out and put in our swordsman. Where do I want my swordsman located becomes the question. Probably here, something like that. I do want my lone druid to take damage so he puts his ultimate out. And do we have any assassins that I need to be worrying about? No, no assassins, so I don't need to worry about my backline. And actually on that note, we're gonna make a little more space for our berserker so he's not hugged to the front. And lone druid, same thing, boom. Alts, alts, double alts, look at it, beautiful. And then we have that pirate captain that is gorgeous. So there we go. Um, I will never be using you, so sell you. The druids I'm keeping so I can get three star. Um, and right now we're looking for pirate captain. We're looking for doom. Um, those would be my big upgrades. And obvious, I mean, and then stuff I have like lone druid. So really, uh, those those are the main focuses for me. I'll grab them just for now, just to let's see. Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, if I can get you to three star, that's really nice. Okay, that's good. And there we go. Okay, there's our doom. Okay, there's our pirate. Let's get rid of that then. And nope, we'll sit there. Okay. So pirate is one away. There we go. Um, Tusker, we are trying to take the three star and we're also trying to take Swordsman to three star, but I'm not going to be too greedy with them. Um, Swordsman I'll sell first if it comes down to it. So this is, it looks like probably another, uh, six warrior, I'm guessing. They have the poison worm instead of the, uh, Lord of Sand. And remember the reason I took Lord of Sand instead of poison worm is just my Lord of Sand was already two star. So it's, it's that simple. I think either one is fine. The Orb of Refresh would have been fine on either one of them, right? Double double wards would have been nice, but the double stun is also nice, so it's not a huge deal, I don't think. That, uh, that, Swordsman, okay. We already have him at two star. There we go, and one more. Nope, don't hit. So I'm, I'm gonna keep rerolling 30, by the way. Um, I may level, it depends. Let's see what these people are doing. The thing is, the reason I'm re-rolling so heavily is I know I'm in competition for my warriors, like my epic warriors, my upgraded warriors. So I want to not miss out on them. Okay, so the only people, this person's going to go to nine, and that's a divinity mage. Um, okay, these can go to nine, but they're going to have no economy, so they're kind of in my position. So I think we're, we're okay. 
I really want to hit my pirate captain. That's that would be really really nice for me. Uh, okay, cool. So strange egg. That's great. And roll. Okay, nice. And strange egg. Sorry, actually no. I'm gonna re-roll a little more because I'm gonna be able to sell my druids. So keep that in mind. Okay. Yep. So it goes on our lone druid, and the reason why is because then I can sell my druids. So I was re-rolling because say I would have hit a second Razor Claw, then I could have used my egg on my Pirate Captain. So hopefully that makes sense. And I don't, I didn't have to roll for the, um, I could keep rolling down because I knew I'm going to sell my Druids and that's six gold. And then the Unicorn is seven. So here we're at four. Tusker is less likely than Swordsman at this point. So if we're winning this, I'm going to sell the Tusker. Um, because I do want to keep my economy around 30 because it just leaves me options. So the first place did decide to level up, um, which is fine. And we're one away from Abyssal, we're one away from Pirate Captain, but I think... So, okay, I can level the 9, and then I put in a 1-star Doom, and I'm stuck with a 1-star Pirate Captain. Or I can re-roll for two rounds, try to hit. Um... I am on a win streak, which I would like to hold. I think we're we're gonna level here and put in the Doom. Yeah, there we go. Because Doom is such a such a nice piece to have, so yeah, I think that's the way to go. And there, let's go. Actually, no, I like to have my Doom in the middle. This go here, and mm, if I put the mask on. My Berserker, unfortunately, I'm not going to have any more space for anything else, so I don't want to put it there. I'm deciding who should I put the mask on. Probably my Doom, because he has the next highest DPS. So you want your mask, um, your Dracula mask, onto your high DPS units because they're getting the most life steal out of it. So Doom is my next high, so that will be that. And nice, we're beating these people. I think leveling to nine was the right thing. And we broke that person's win streak. Remember, they were on a three gold win streak also. So us breaking that because, see, they they did go the other way. They they made the opposite choice of me. So anyways, um, there we go, put it on Doom. From here, I can just re-roll down. We're just, oh, we're just looking for upgrades. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. And I will re-roll, ooh. Do I want that? Because I already have my six warriors, so I do have space. Now the question becomes the stuff that I'm going to be fighting against. The end comps are probably going to be the Divinity and probably the Glacier Knight. It does help me against the Glacier Knight, but let's see. We're fighting them right now, so do I need the Dark Spirit against them, or am I fine? And it looks like I'm fine, so I don't think I'm going to grab it. Um... I, I think investing the gold to get my Doom to two star and get my Pirate Captain to two star is probably a better use of my gold at this point. And yeah, so there we go. That round brings us down to exactly what we were talking about. Um, there we go. Nope. Oh my gosh. Game is teasing me. I saw the two purples and the shining, and I was like, yeah. Okay, anyways. Um Okay, you know what? Eh. Okay, I'm gonna hold off. So somebody had an interesting... Okay, and we have, we're have we fighting divinities, so I do want to have um, magic resist. And the reason I'm going to hold off is somebody was talking about getting the Heart of Tranquility, so I'm just waiting on the axe. You're likely to get the axe uh, around round 35 or 40. I'm, there's no way I'm making it to 40, but I might make it to 30, uh, 35. So let's hold off. See, we could also hit it at round 30. It's unlikely, but we could. Um, so let's hold off, and we're winning anyways. So um, I, I'm, I'm going to take the gamble in this case, is just basically. And right now, uh, people aren't competing with me for anything that I want. The things that are comp under competition already are had, the two-star berserkers, uh, namely the two-star berserkers. So, um, yeah, there we go, beautiful. And same thing, just in case I get it, I can uh, lock it. Or I might even have sold Swordsman in that case, but anyways. So here we go, minion round. And I think this experiment has basically proved what I fear to be the case, which is six warrior, four beasts is just ridiculous again, and it's OP. The reason it's OP is because the developers decided to just keep nerfing six mage. So six mage is a natural counter. Uh, Divinity mage was being the counter of warriors, but then it just got nerfed heavily last patch too. So to me, that's what's resulting in what you are seeing in this game. Um, bam, there's our pirate, beautiful. 
egg, I will take you because you will make me that much closer to having my uh, swordsman. That goes on swordsman because keep in mind, swordsman does have, um, oh, beautiful. So that will keep him safe. And no, I don't want to combine this item yet, but I will put that on my swordsman for right now. Um, so that was round 30. Remember, we were trying to hold. Um, also, I'm going to put this on. Yeah, let's put it on our pirate captain. I was thinking between uh, I could also put it on lone druid. But uh, yeah, I think pirate captain. I, I, I'm going to stack more defense onto pirate captain. So that's kind of my thinking there. And yeah, the divinity is probably going to get us. So I would guess, by the way, the um, claw wand is what's keeping my berserker alive. So if you're wondering how my berserker is staying alive, that is how. So hopefully he loses. He's losing to the other player. Um, so hopefully the other player... Oh no, and I forgot to lock the egg. Oh well. So we, we would have only been one swordsman away. So that, that was my bad. I was thinking about other things. Um, yeah, we'll just keep waiting at this point. The, the shield's not some super valuable thing. We can put it there for now. Um, the divinity was our issue, so four. So I want my humans at four. There we go, that gives my humans in good position. Let's go like that. That should help me against the divinity positioning, position old wise, positioning wise. There we go. Uh, so a flash dagger in this case would be nice because it'll help me against the divinity. I can get my, um, my damage onto their back line. So right now it's rock, paper, scissor. It, I'm beating this person and this person I think is beating the divinity. Oh, and I just beat the divinity by switching my position. So there we go. Nice. Divinity out. Okay, cool. And lots of beautiful items. Two more rounds and we can try to hit that sweet sweetness. And uh, I don't want to put that on my berserker, to be honest. Here, yes, I want to protect my pirate captain and this beautiful onto my berserker. And no, I don't want that on my berserker. Um, who is, so my other damage source is going to be my doom. So let's put it there and let's match up. Okay. Against his dragon. Actually, let's do this. I, I want to match my human up. Um, so I should have also moved my werewolf. Oh, okay. And the, the dragon has the uh, flash dagger. So boom. Nice. It looks like we're taking this, but he's getting closer. He's, he's definitely getting closer to beating us. Um, than he was, but still getting pretty crushed. And one more round should be the game. And shop. Okay, just make sure I'm not doing anything stupid in the shop again. One more round. So, okay, nope. We're only looking for swordsmen at this point. Nope. 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 Okay. Okay. And position my last 15 seconds so I would like to silence four from the left and the dragon so really oh the dragon's gonna flash though we know so four from the left so that uh, actually that is being silenced and I think that's good and actually let's scoot him over and that way my pirate will yep nice he gets the silence the human silence off on the dragon this time so that's gonna be even worse for him um, Wow actually wait what hmm he's Seems like he's doing better against me this time. Shifting over. So shifting over the Berserker was two reasons. One, I want to crush him from the outside in, which normally does more damage. Okay, and we crushed him from this side. So anyways, there we go. Um, by the way, whoever, I, I forget who it was that was commenting that I should try to target the Axe of Fury. Um, shout out to you. I was trying. But as you notice, like games, like for me, as you move up the ranks, games don't go to round 35. They don't go to round 40 or they very rarely by the like, I hit round 35 occasionally, but I hit round 35 when I'm already top three, right? So it's only like the top three players left, maybe top two players, and you're just fighting for the that end for first place, right? Round 40, I almost never hit. So I think that's why it becomes an issue to get uh, tier three items. It's very rare. But anyways, um, I would say this experiment shows pretty definitely what my my theory was is six warrior four beasts is op i think it's the strongest comp in the meta um saying this i'm sure tons of people are going to start forcing it and it might get weaker but i hope i hope tons of people start for forcing it and it gets weaker and i hope it gets nerfed next patch because this is now two out of the last three patches that this has been the op build but anyways i hope you all enjoyed today's video take care i will talk you talk to you tomorrow